hello everyone it's gigo here and welcome back to the channel it is 7 30 here in pram pram and as you can see the sun is already out you know and uh, today we begin with the iron rod installation for the columns and pillars and as you can see the steel bender is already here i wasn't expecting him to come this early but he said he has things to do so he wanted to come early you know start before his guys comes around to help him out so they can finish on time and then they move to the next project he's a really good guy i really like his efforts his energy i'll put his contact number down there if you need a steel bender this is the guy man he did all the decking all the installation of the pillars every iron work with this house he's the one who did it you know and you can check in my previous videos about iron rod installation and everything about iron rod this is the guy man so if you need someone to fix your iron rod for you he is the one man my number one guy and he can also read the drawings you know he reads the drawing he doesn't need like a a, a developer or like a contractor to be there to tell him what to do where to put when he sees the drawing he can do it himself i really believe and i really trust him as well i have his project coming on where we are building a church here in dorinya we are building a church and he's the one in charge of the iron works and when it comes out you will see i'm working on the videos so stay tuned and watch out for that so let's get back to today's video but before that something came across you know a subscriber asked me to send him some uh, pictures of my contractor building a container school here in accra and uh, i was like hey i think uh, when i did that video i was around 1k subscribers and now i have like 4k subscribers so i know most of you haven't seen that video yet so i'm going to put the link down in the description box if you are interested in container building my contractor did this so you can check it out if you are interested and it will appear at the end of the video as well so you can easily click on it so that's just by the way let's get back to today's video and here we go we mounting this uh iron rods and installing them to get ready for the concrete casting and then yeah we take it from there later on we see how far we can go by the end of the year the target is to mount all those pillars cast them and then uh, be ready for the next you know for the roofing and also uh, we also have to cast the staircase underneath the staircase we have to cast that and we have to also do a hidden roof gutter for the penthouse so the work never stops man it never stops so today we are casting uh sorry we are installing at uh, 18 you know columns or pillars i would say so that is what we are installing is total number of 18 which is just for the uh, penthouse so that tells you how strong it will be you know with all the stall iron rods going in there and uh, i'm really grateful for this you know uh still bender he has been on this project for a long time and he, he's still here and i'm really grateful so please please if you need someone to fix your iron rod for you this is the guy man so today's tip will be in the form of a question and the question is why are you building in ghana why do you want to build a house in ghana i know most of my subscribers here are the diasporans there so most of them are not living in ghana so my question is why are you building in ghana why do you want to build in ghana and must you build with a speed because of the inflation or because everybody is building is that the reason why you want to go through all this stress to build why are you going through this stress to build your house in ghana i just want you to sit down and think about this because one thing you have to know is that anything you put into the house project starting from foundation is locked up until the house is completed so let's say within three to five years before you can sit down and be like whoa but trust me the process is not easy during that five three to five years time will be full of challenges going through a lot you have to make rapid decision which might affect you or even end the whole project so this is something i really want us to sit down and think about because we are all individuals we all have our own dreams and we all have our amb ambitions and goals 
all that i'm trying to say is that if you try to rush the process of building it will force you to play nonsense because getting to the end you might make some decisions which you don't really like it but you just have to go with it because that is what you have and because you are stressed and tired you just want to get it done and just move on with your life and when you go through that process at the end of the whole project you'll be tired and you might not even like what you've built so take it easy go slow but stay focused and don't get yourself into any competition it will stress you so in my next episode i will share with you what i would do differently if i should start it all over so subscribe to the channel if you haven't liked the video to support the movement you can also share your thoughts and your experience if you have any we are all learning from each other so a good subscriber made a comment about we not having the space you know a compound which is a big issue and because of that initially the plan was to use this space which is the third level as a rooftop terrace like to keep it open so that we can sit here you know and you know just chill out because we don't have space at the front but uh, i changed the plan you know yeah because i saw something else around the neighbor and i and i wanted to use it as a room or like a roof uh, like a penthouse but one thing i also want to address which is about planning your own house is that even though you see blocks being laid and i have demarcated this is a room this is the kitchen this is the lounge it can still be used as a rooftop terrace you know the idea is that this if you watch carefully this is the only thing dividing the whole place these two walls which is the kitchen so here is like a rooftop terrace or a lounge this is like a lounge it's being set up as a lounge and the kitchen is serving the lounge and this is also used as a bedroom this place is used as a bedroom but what makes this space a bedroom is having a bed here so if you have a bed here it becomes a bedroom if you take the bed out and you put a couch here then you have a rooftop terrace or a lounge you understand and everything here is open so from here everything is open which i mean it's going to be covered with glass but it's open where you can see through so it's just like a rooftop terrace from here to there is open with glass and from there it's going to be open like just raw open or we're thinking about a french door or some a french windows or something but that will come on later when we have the money for now the focus is to keep all this place you know covered with glass so that is the idea of building that's why i always tell people that when you are building you should look at your lifestyle how you want to live your life and plan with it so it is a bedroom yes it, it, is a, it is a bedroom but when you take the bed out it becomes a living room also a lounge a rooftop terrace you can place your tv right here and have your lounge right there and you are good to go the only thing is that this you can close this with with, with a curtain or you can also have a french uh, doors to close this place you just move into your washroom so you can use this as a guest washroom at the rooftop and use this as a storage and the television is here or have a small bar right here kitchenette and so that is the idea of you you know planning your own house and planning how you want to live your life in the future that's how i i plan this so just this work makes the difference between a bedroom a kitchen a living room or a lounge or you can have a lounge and then another lounge so you can use this for the vip and use this for the popular stand and this is the kitchen this is the main machine where you can keep all your drinks and stuff so that is what i wanted to share i can also show you downstairs even though we don't have much space here but i plan i, I plan the whole thing that in a way that you can also uh, how do i say it you can you don't even have to live outside the whole idea of this project is that you live inside a building so this is also like an open terrace where you can also uh, keep this is also because this is not part of here even though you can make it part so this is also like a place where you can sit down and chill which we know in the in the future i think the building is coming up to here so maybe this won't be visible for you to see at the other side but then you have this view you have the half of it 
which will be here and then it's even nice to have it like a dark place where you don't want anybody to see you but you want to be out of the house so that is the plan and this is open so if you also look around here the plan here is that this is going to be open this place is going to be open so the moment you open this door which is going to be like a windows gate sliding door the moment you open it also becomes the uh, in indoor and outdoor floor so you can minimize your indoor living and you can maximize your indoor living and also when you come here we also have another space at the back where this place is also a place where you can chill later where you can relax if you don't want to be at the front you don't want people to see you at the front this is another space where you can chill out and space so the house is designed to entertain that is the whole idea of the house it's being designed to entertain that's why i don't focus in the bedroom i just have one bedroom here i have one bedroom here and i have another bedroom right there but the whole thing is to entertain the main focus of building you know building the second floor and the third floor is to entertain so that is the whole thing it's entertainment house that's why everything is being open and the moment you open the all the windows you open all the doors it becomes your your how do i say it? it's it becomes an open space for you to do whatever you want to do so that is it and how i want to use it if i am the one using both floors which is the penthouse and using this down floor that i can easily like i have my two bedrooms here and i can just use this as a rooftop terrace to entertain guests because maybe these houses might cover the view from the sea so then they have to come here and and if i have more guests if i have more people visiting and the rooms downstairs is full i can also make a room here by putting a bed right there and then they can just go in and so it is a multi-purpose house it is a multi-purpose design and i think everybody should plan his or her house build it the way you want to live your life because i am still young so this is what i'm thinking about about hosting friends about you know connecting with people sharing my ideas so this is what i want to share and then my project in dorinha is going to be like my family house where it's going to be more private and it's just me and my fam family so that is the whole idea of building and the whole idea why we are here we are sharing our, our ideas of building in ghana so this is just something small i would like to share with you guys it is messy here so it's difficult to really see the whole place we are almost getting there when we are done with the lentil we clean up the whole place by then we are done with every block work we are done with every uh, you know kind of dirty stuff so we can clean up the place and we can start with the roofing we can set up the place lines and then you will see what i mean so that's something i would like to share with you guys